Dear students, let us learn about the saphenous opening and cribriform fascia. So let us learn where it is located, the saphenous opening and what is cribriform fascia. The saphenous opening is also known as the fossa ovalis and it is a opening seen on the front of the thigh and it is an opening in the deep fascia of thigh which is known as the fascia veta. In this picture we can see the invinal ligament extending from anterior superior in the x spine to pubic tubercle and it is a boundary between the abdomen and the thigh and in relation with that you will be seeing a roughly oval or a vertically placed opening in the deep fascia or fascia later of the thigh that is the saphenous opening and this opening is covered by the cribriform fascia and you can see the great saphenous vein entering into that opening. So the saphenous opening is a easily seen opening on the front of thigh in its upper medial part and it is a below the inguinal ligament and it is a 3 to 4 centimeters or 1.5 centimeters below and later to the pubic tubercle and it is also anterior to the femoral artery and vein. So which forms the content of the femoral sheath. So in this picture you can see the inguinal ligament, the deep fascia of thigh known as fascia lata and the location of the saphenous opening in the upper medial part of thigh below the inguinal ligament and 1.5 centimeters below and later to pubic tubercle and then you can see the contents of femoral sheath, femoral artery and vein. So the saphenous opening is anterior to these two structures. In this picture you can see the front of thigh on its medial part there is a vertically oval opening that is the saphenous opening and it is about 2 to 3 centimeters in vertical diameter and 1 to 1.5 centimeters in transverse diameter and you can see the great saphenous vein and which passes over the inferior margin of the saphenous opening then pierces the cribriform fascia to join the femoral vein and before entering the saphenous opening you can see two of the branches eh, joining it that is the superficial external pudendal vein and then the superficial epigastric vein. So one more vein also will join from the lateral V that is the superficial circumflex iliac but you are not seeing it in this picture. The saphenous opening has four borders. They are the upper border, the lateral border, the lower border and the medial border. Of these four borders, the upper, lateral and lower borders together form a sharp margin and it is known as falciform margin. Whereas the medial border, it forms an ill-defined margin. So there are two margins. One is the falciform margin and the other is the ill-defined medial border. In this picture, you can see the sharp, crescentic and well-defined inferolateral margin which is known as the falciform margin and an ill-defined smooth 
medial margin you are seeing and this opening is closed by a sieve like fascia which is known as the cribriform fascia which is pierced by the great saphenous vein and you can see the contents of femoral sheath that is the femoral artery and the femoral vein the great saphenous vein joins the femoral vein in relation with the saphenous opening you can see the superficial stratum of fascia lata presenting the two horns a superior horn and an inferior horn and the superior horn will be passing upwards and medially it is attached to the pubic tubercle the inferior horn passes medially behind the great saphenous vein and it blends with the fascia covering the pectineus muscle so you can see the superficial stratum of fascia lata and the deep stratum of fascia lata here and you can see the two horns in relation with the saphenous opening that will be going up and joining the pubic tubercle and the inferior one passing behind the great saphenous vein and blending with the fascia covering the pectineus muscle and you can observe the falciform margin and the ill defined medial margin of the saphenous opening in this picture you can see the saphenous opening you can see the falciform margin more clearly and then this is the ill defined medial margin and you can see the great saphenous vein which is curving round the lower margin of the saphenous opening to pierce the cribriform fascia and to end by joining the femoral vein so that is the importance of the saphenous opening is to allow the passage of great saphenous vein to join the femoral vein by curving round the lower margin of the saphenous opening and piercing the cribriform fascia and you can see the veins joining the great saphenous vein you can see the superficial epigastric vein and circumflex iliac veins now let us see what is cribriform fascia the cribriform fascia is also known as fascia cribrosa or hesselbach's fascia the saphenous opening is covered by a sieve like fascia with perforations in it and that fascia is called cribriform fascia these perforations are caused by the arteries veins and lymphatics on their way to the deep aspect of the thigh so the cribriform fascia is a sieve like fascia which is perforated by the arteries veins and lymphatics on their way to deep aspect of thigh and it covers the saphenous opening now let us see the structures piercing the cribriform fascia they are the great saphenous vein and three arteries that is the superficial external pudendal superficial epigastric and superficial circumflex iliac arteries and a twig from medial femoral cutaneous nerve also pierces it then the lymph vessels in this picture you can see the great saphenous vein the superficial external pudendal artery the superficial epigastric artery and the superficial circumflex iliac artery that are piercing the cribriform fascia but 
you are not seeing the corresponding veins piercing the cribriform fascia. The reason why the corresponding veins that is the superficial external pudendal, superficial epigastric and superficial circumflex iliac veins are not piercing the cribriform fascia or these veins are draining into the great saphenous vein before the great saphenous vein pierces the cribriform fascia. In this picture, you can see the superficial external pudendal vein, the superficial epigastric vein and the superficial circumflex iliac vein joining the great saphenous vein before it pierces the cribriform fascia. Whereas the corresponding arteries, they are piercing the cribriform fascia is the explanation. And now you have understood about the saphenous opening, its boundaries and the cribriform fascia, and the structures piercing the cribriform fascia 